I want to talk about binding and casting out demons. So if you have something to write on, you should really take notes because this is something that I do every day. So let's go to Luke 10 and 19. To the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So, what is this saying? This is saying that God is giving you, first of all, let me say this. This applies to people who are following the rules and regulations of the Bible, of God. So you are obedient to God. So if you are constantly and consistently sinning, always in sin, this does not apply to you. God's promises, or many of them, are for people who serve him. Yes, he promises he promises the wicked things as well. He promises the wicked people punishments in hell. But if you want the good things of God consistently, you have to be obedient to him. So in Luke 10 and 19 is saying that God is giving you power over demons. Okay, you may say, how is that possible? And over all the power of the enemy. So you have authority over demons. Does that make any sense? Behold, I give unto you I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So anything that demons throw at you, you have authority over it. So whether they get into people and those people are trying to mess you over or do you wrong, you have authority over those demons within those people you have authority over those demons. Does that make any sense? Let's go to Matthew 18. Let me say this. There is something I wanted to say, but it keeps slipping my mind. So, let me just continue on. Let's go to Matthew, Matthew 18 and 18. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So you may say to me, Hey Kevin, what is all of this binding and loosing? Well, let's look up these words. So what does bind mean? Let's look it up. So, tie or fasten something tightly. So, let's look up the word loose. Okay. Loose. Set free. I want to go to this definition here. Set free. Release. So, place everything in the context of binding and casting out demons. Let me say this. When you live for God, when you are following his rules and regulations, yes, you are going to have problems with demons, of course. Because demons don't want you. Demons want demons want everyone to go to hell. So when you live for God, they are going to try as much as possible to get you into sin, for you to die in sin, for you to go to hell. 
when you are constantly and consistently sinning, you are going to have problems with demons. Why? Because you are in sin. They have power over you. You see, when you live for God, you have power over demons. When you live for yourself, as you say, or doing whatever you want to do, you are living for demons, hence they have power over you. Okay, so let's get right back. So in Luke, it is telling us that we have authority, we have power over demons when we are obedient to God. Now in Matthew, it is saying that we have the power to bind and loose. So what does it mean to bind and, yes, to bind and cast out demons? So let's look up the word cast. So what is the definition of cast? So let me see. Let's go to this one. Throw something forcefully in a specified direction. So what are you doing when you are binding and casting out demons? Okay, when you bind demons, what you are doing? You are tying or fastening them tightly. So you are tying up the demons. And when you are casting demons, you are throwing them in a certain area. So away from you. And you may say, hey, Kevin, I still don't really understand what you are saying. How do I bind and cast out demons? Well, Hold on. You say it, you say it with your mouth. I can go so many areas with this. <laughs> the way that you bind and cast out demons is with your words and your faith and by being obedient to God. So how does this work? How do you bind and cast out demons? Let's write it out. Or let me just say it. The way you do it, first you have to be obedient to God. You have to follow his rules and regulations. So obedience to God is number one. Number two, you have to have faith in God. So you have to have blind trust in God. So if it says in Luke that God is giving you power over demons, you have to believe that. If you don't believe it, how can you... To get God's promises, to connect yourself to God's promises, you must believe in it. Because if you don't believe in it, it is not going to work for you. If God is saying, or if God is saying, yes, that he is giving you power over demons, if you don't believe it, how is it going to work for you? I pray that makes sense to you. If you don't believe in something, how can you exercise it? I pray that makes sense. So to connect yourself to God's promises, you have to believe it. So first is obedience to God. Second one is blind trust in God. You have to believe in what he is saying. If it says that he is giving you power to do something in order to operate within it, 
You have to believe in it. That should make sense there. So number three, the way to bind and cast out demons is with your mouth. And you may say, hey, Kevin, how can it be so easy? Because it is not you, it is God that is working through you. When God is promising something to us, it is within his power, not our power. So when I say that you can bind and cast out demons and just say it, for instance, Demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. And by faith, I know that they have to leave. And you may say, well, that sounds really stupid, or how can it be so simple, or how can it be so easy? Because God, it is God's power. I am not doing it within my own power. If I was doing it within my own power, of course, it is not going to work. I can say demons are binding and cast you out, and I know that it is not going to work if I am doing it within my own power. But I know that when I obey God, and when, and when I have faith in God, it is going to work. I am not doing it within my own power. I am doing it within God's power because he promises it to me if what? If I obey him and have faith. So obedience to God and my faith connects me to the promises of God. So you may be having problems with demons right now. And you may be serving God right now. So what you should do is say demons... I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. So even if you see a demon or like a moving shadow and you are the only one that is in your room or something like that and you are not moving and you see these shadows moving and trying to intimidate you, don't look at them because you already commanded the demons to leave. We have to believe that when we say it, it has happened. Not that it is going to happen, not that it will happen. No, it has happened. That is how faith works. So if you are the type of person that has very weak faith, you are in trouble. And I am not saying that my faith is sky high and stuff like that no but we have authority over demons and in matthew it is saying well if we bind something on earth it is going to be done in heaven as well so how powerful is that if it was if it was only me and if i was doing things in my own power i don't have power there is no power within me but when I live in God. So, by myself, I have no power. But when I live for God, I have power. Makes sense, right? So, it is not me, but it is God. God made everything. So, what is the power of demons compared to God? Makes sense, right? My Lord, I pray that I explained this <laughs> really well because I really tried. So when demons mess with you, if you are in sin, get out of sin, build up your faith, and command the demons to leave. It is not by your power, but the power of God. So we only have to say it and obey God and have faith that it has happened and it has happened. Well, you know, I still feel like a demon is still here or I see one over there right now, blah, blah, blah. 
you have to believe and once you say it even if you see these weird things and stuff like that you have to believe that it has happened because if you don't believe and if you doubt how can you take part of that promise makes sense right and I am not saying that if everyone's faith is going to be so big and stuff like that it just takes a little bit of faith to do much just a tiny bit of faith a mustard seed of faith that's it like I said I am not saying that my faith is sky high because I don't think it is <laughs> so really take heed to this God bless